Greetings, Bad Friends here, and today we are playing Doctor Who, The Edge of Time. Ooh, new game. Which doctor am I going to be? I grew up watching, like, Tom Baker a lot. But I like John Pertry. He's cool. Matt Smith was cool. I think the lady did a better job than everybody gives her credit for. But hey, look at me not remembering her name. So, there's that, I suppose. Soap powder. I'll take this coffee, I suppose. Seems like it's here for me to take. Alright, um... I'll just, uh... Is there anything cool in here? Put my coffee in there. How's that? Alright, turn it on. No, I can't turn it on. What's this? Rosy reds. What was that? I don't know. Who's okay? Let me just grab my coffee. What's she talking about? Oh, the TV, of course. TV. Work. Hey, TV. Alright, we're going this way because the TV doesn't seem to be working. Unless I'm meant to go in here. Or in... I can't open it because it's working. Oh. Hurry up. I just wrecked someone's washing. Oh. Hello. Okay, good news about time. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long does this phone call go? Oh. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, you're over there. Okay. I know you're the doctor. I watched your latest series. It was good. I'm sorry I don't remember your actor's name. Uh oh. Things have gotten all icky. There's icky things in the wash, and that's like. kind of ironic. You look a bit like a dialect to me. Nasty and dangerous, but you better get used to them. Long story short, imagine the infrastructure of time and space is a hard drive. And all living matter, everything that ever was or will be, is software. Okay. Well, someone's unleashed a virus that's attacking the hard drive and the software, meaning reality itself is being hacked, wiped, degraded. This reality virus is corrupting the past, present, and future. Now, I need you to check out the washing machines. Ooh. And when you do, please, don't freak out. Don't, don't what? Don't what? I can see the Daleks, or whatever they are. Weird timing monsters. Don't touch the things in sun. Ooh, Jeebus. sometimes used as guards by races like the Stenza and Zygons. They're deadly carnivores with no table runners and a taste Why are you getting me to look at them? They shouldn't even be in this system. We can thank the reality virus for them showing up here. Right now, they're incubating, but that won't take long. Then they'll smash out of the machines. So you've got to get out of there sharpish. Get out. Looks like there's only one exit through the back door in the manager's office. I see it. What? What? This king's getting cut off. He's awake. 
we gotta go. Move it, door. It's a little bit dark in here. We need to get the electricity back on in the manager's office oh. so we can see what's what. Check out the fuse box and try to get it working. Oh, uh, do I need a uh, fuse? Here's one. Now turn it on. I can't hear you. Stop mumbling, lady. Nothing in the drawers. As I was being taken, I managed a bit of transmanchigory pokery. I've Did you? A little present in the safe for you. But before you ask, I can't oh, find huh. anything else. Not from here. Anyway, open the safe, grab your present, and use it to unlock the door. Open the safe, grab my sonic whatever. Use it to ugh, open the door. Locked. Alright, so we have to find the number. To find the combination to the safe is four digits. If it was my combination, I'd go for 1019 personally. Lowest four digit safe prime number, obviously. Why? The manager used a pair of two digit numbers. Numbers that meant something to him. Have a poke around and see if you can find out what they were. Oh, you're a little TARDIS. That's cute. Nothing in there. Nope. Oh, pencil. We could really do with a hand from Yaz, Ryan, and Graham right about now. They're pretty good at following clues and finding things, but they're busy on secret missions for me at the moment. I'm we sure they are. But I'm tapping the side of my nose, dead mysteriously. I'll explain more later. Take the photo. Okay. That's got to be a part of it. 14. Ace. But you still need another two digit number, so keep looking. And get your skates on, because the hydro is always done incubating. And trust me, you do not want to be around when they break free. Uh huh. I mean, I can't really hurry up. Were there any other photos? Back by the washers? By the washers? Oh. You want me to go back out here? That thing's waking up. Take the photo frame and see if there's any. Get in there. That'll be it. Try to open the safe using the two sets of numbers you found. Thanks for that information. Now I've got to try and uh, fourteen. Try to using the two sets of numbers you found. Eighty. Three. Hey. Oh, I love my sonic screwdriver, so don't lose it. Actually, I'll show you a nifty little trick to keep it safe when you're not using it. What? Move your sonic true screwdriver to your waist and press the trigger button to hoist her. Super handy that. Grab the sonic then. Word of warning, the hydrox are on the verge of breaking out, so you better get a move on. You need to unlock the door using the sonic. Oh. Oh, it's unlocked. Ugh. Yeah. Try the back door. See if you can get out. There we go. Wow, everything's gone red. Don't even close it. But this? What? Satellite dish, battery. Got it. Check in the bins. Nope. Hey, there's a toilet. Find those items and put them on the workbench. I mean, sure. Are you sure that these things even exist? Don't want to worry you, but the hydrox are getting stronger and I'll zoom in through that door 
There might be a battery in here. Alright. Now satellite dish. Okay, there's got to be a satellite dish somewhere around here. Oh, Why? I'm loving your work. Why does there have to be? Is this good enough? How about some of this? It's refreshing. You've just got to get one more item now. The satellite device. Well, come on, tell me where it is. Tell me where everything else is. Up there. Come on, I need you to find a satellite device. It's not like I'm asking for the moon. Although technically speaking, the moon is a satellite. Yes, it is. But not the type of satellite we're looking for. Huh. I see it. Lovely. Now plunk it on the workbench next to this radio. Nice. Right. Use the sonic on them. That's it. Signal of maximum power. Oh, you are going to love this bit. What? What's going on? What are you doing? Ah, oh, the TARDIS, nice. Let's get in it, shall we? Oh, something's happening. Not what are you doing? I'm losing my visuals on you. And my connection. I'm losing. Oh. Sensors indicate valid biotechnology. It is the TARDIS. It is the doctor's TARDIS. Go away, Daleks. Oh, God. Not the Daleks. What do I do now? I've got to move over there to that blue circle. Alright, oh, the blue circle says it's over there, Mom. Oh, how do I boost your transmitter then? Like this? Take that, Daleks! No, you don't. Come on, open up. Coming in. Ooh, it's bigger on the inside. Nice escape from the long drive, mate. That's what Whoa. I call a clean getaway. How did I end up standing over here? Oh, well, ah, clean getaway. Can you let me in? Is that annoying? Oh, it sparkles. Hey, intro. We did the intro. Jody Whittaker. I should remember that name. If I can remember Peter Capolilli's name, I should remember Jodie Whittaker's name. I'm kind of looking forward to the Christmas episode, that's for sure. Hey! Edge of time! Yeah. Hey, why is my Sonic doing that? Oh. Welcome aboard. Hey, Come thanks. On. Make yourself at home. All right. Whoop. We 
wish I had time to give you a guided tour, but we're up against it. We can't get distracted. So, here's the skinny. Do people still say here's the skinny? What I don't know. Is the skinny? Never understood it, to be honest with you. I okay. Mean, sorry, easily distracted. Big picture. I'm marooned at the end of time and space. I have to cobble together a vortex manipulator to get back to where I should be. Why don't I just bring the TARDIS? Oh, good. What? Uh oh. That's what's at stake. Your world and countless others. So you've got to find those three pieces of Zyton and let's get one thing absolutely straight. One very important thing. What's that? Hologram's going to be patchy from now on. I'm guessing it's the reality virus messing with the visuals. Okay, oh, get man. back to the console and I'll tell you what needs to be done. Well, the TARDIS has switched to autopilot mode. No pressure then. Just doesn't know you yet. But there's some stuff no autopilot pressure at all. But hey. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. That's enough TARDISing for today. I'll see you tomorrow.